When the time came for the branch of the New Testament to be born, that happened on Pentecost, which is the 50th day. On Pentecost, the Holy Spirit descended as tongues of fire on 120 people sitting in that upper room. And they started speaking in languages, not tongues, gibberish, nonsense. They started speaking in different languages. They started speaking in Arabic, maybe Chinese. It is written in the book of Acts anyway. So you read it. So when the church of Christ in the New Testament was born on the Pentecost, which is the Greek word for 50, 50 days after the resurrection of the Lord Jesus from the dead. 50 days later, the church was born in the New Testament. From the day the church was born in the New Testament till the time the Lord comes and takes his bride, perfect, without a, without a blemish, without a stain, perfect, taking her to the Father's house. This time frame is called the time of grace. Now the time of grace, we will talk about it more so in Revelation chapter 13 when we come to it. So, from the time of the 50th day till the time the Lord comes and takes his bride, perfect, to the Father's house, this time is called the time of grace. The time of grace is not included in the time of the world. So, from day 50 after the resurrection till now, we are living in the time of grace. This is outside, above and beyond the time of the world. So in a way, in a way, the Lord Jesus put a hold on the time of the world in order for the time of grace to take place. But just like there was a beginning for this time of grace, there is an end to the time of grace. When the Lord Jesus swore by the one who lives forever and ever, he swore by God, that there will be time no longer, he is talking about the time of grace. He is saying in the end of times, I will put an end to the time of grace. I will put an end to the time of grace. What does that mean to the Christian world, to Christendom? You're in trouble. <laughs> if you haven't repented yet, when the Lord puts an end to the time of grace, you can keep on calling Him, praying to Him, begging Him, going to church and knocking at the doors, asking the Lord to come. Heaven will be silent forever. Once the time of grace is gone, Jesus swore, I'll put an end to the time of grace. That means the time of grace will end. Is there going to be Christians after the time of grace that ends? Yes. What kind of Christians are going to remain afterwards? Christians by name, not by deeds. like you have already Christians that live by name, not by deed. I'm not talking about the Christians now that fall into sin and then get up and repent. No, these are still Christians. But I'm talking that after the time of grace, those Christians that are going to remain, they will be Christians only by name, but all their deeds will be intentionally evil. Not out of weakness you do wrong things. No, intentionally they will do evil. The Lord will shut the door in the face of such Christians. Why? Because the Lord needs to reopen the door in the face of the Israelite nation. 